flame with you and dying, I think that's fine. You want to play aggressive. Um, playing aggressive against an axe is usually a bad idea, but if you're undying, I think it, you can make it work. Making it work, though. Currently got two stacks of decay on the axe. I feel like he's got to be careful now. There's no Arctic Burn available. Battle Hunger will come out, Cuckoo. There is another one out. This is hard for... It is a bit harder to creep skip with this axe when you've got such low HP. Mind you, again, it, we always talk about how it's a bit of a double-edged sword because you can just heal up so fast with eating a tango. Cuckoo actually in trouble now as well. The Battle Hunger will come out. The Mystic Flare's coming out as well. Oli, uh, excuse me, the Arcane Bolt. Although, this axe should oh. but the Sorin comes in oh. and Cuckoo finds it. <laughs> Exciting lane. Flesh Rack can't apply enough pressure onto TA. That TA can't quite go in for a kill. It can be a bit... Uh, it can go a bit wild as it goes on, but, you know, it takes a while for both heroes to really get out of control. So, just really sort of passive lane until a support rotates in, which I don't think it's going to happen in fight soon. What lane? This is very aggressive play from Huku moving forward. Has the decay again, but the silence comes in from Oli. Huku, I don't think he was expecting that Ancient Seal to be available yet. But it was, and now Tim's going to be in trouble. No mana available on Oli, though, so he can't throw out any arcane bolts. Now, Cuckoo will come back into the lane. Battle Hunger will be there on Ollie. He's made Tim's, but he does have the cold embrace just in case. So, it's a nice early objective to secure, especially for heroes that want to come online early, like the Gyrocopter, Leshrac. Um, good on them for securing that, even though you do trade one for one. I think that's perfectly fine. Cuckoo is in a spot of trouble again, going really far forward. They have the Cold Embrace available. It looks like they're trying to bait this axe out, and they do. Ollie now, he's surrounded. The Cold Embrace comes, and he can't do anything about this, and he just drops. Really bait people in, um, into trying to get a kill on you, but, you know, it's, it's really hard. Against him and dying, you have the K, you have Soul Rip, to sustain yourself, uh, and they don't really have the greatest burst. Oh. Mid lane. They end up finding Ninja Boogie, so Emo finds a somewhat decent trade, but Armel finds the left track, which is much more valuable for him. Top, which, uh, that's two denies now in the tier ones, isn't it, Mike? So, that's a lot of gold missing from IG's lineup now. And, you know, their lineup does want early gold from those towers with the gyrocopter. Oh, mid lane. Chrono oh. is available. They'll catch both of them this time, but Armel is there. Oh, we got chain frost. God. There's no chance. And Emo, he tried to rotate fast. They've caught the axe as well to make matters work. He's so close to getting his blink dagger. He needs 50 gold by now. No bash. And he will manage to get out. Oh my, that was close though. 50 gold to the blink, and you end up. And you just kind of control TA's farm. Make sure that, you know, Armel doesn't snowball out of control. And IG still has a pretty good shot. They can do that. Oh. Spot out Emo. Yeah, looks like he's been caught out, but Flesh Golem is going to slow him down a lot. This will give him enough time to rotate in. Gabby doesn't want to initiate too fast. Now the relocate, but then oh, the Winter's Curse out onto the Io. Look at the setup. Uh, Mel just uses the Mel Strike, takes him down. Doodle's the only one left. Can't even find the Lich right now. The Axe comes in, but misses the call, though Armel is in trouble. Can they get out of this one? The Mystic Flare comes in as well. Dunk actually misses. Battle Hunger is still there, but he will refract. The cold embrace is there from Tim's just in case. Had enough. Ooh. He had enough HP Ooh, down cool. to get the dunk off, but that soul rip just barely coming in clutch. And now Ollie gonna get caught out. It will just be a support pick off, but that's gonna suck. You literally just missed a kill. And with this, the chrono was there from Gabby. Does not go for the axe, the FNC. So they are pushing in bot as well, and in fact, mid lane, they have caught out the Lich Ninja Boogie. He does overextend a bit. He dropped the Sentry Ward, but unfortunately, his one gets the ward first. Meanwhile, in the jungle, Tim is actually getting caught out as well. He does throw the Witch's Curse out. Now the Chrono Follow-Up is there from Gabby. Cuckoo immediately into the Flesh Golem, and it looks like they will be able to burst dogfights down at the least. So Google, he's... Like the Doodle, excuse me, is trapped, and will end up falling. Now, yeah, Armel does push in the T1 as well. Yeah, they find those two kills down bot. They lose their Lich, but hey, who really cares? It's a Lich. They managed to take the tier 1 up top. It should be okay for them. They do go for the Roche now, Mike. I'm not sure if I IG should be aware they do have Ward. Going down pretty fast. The Meld Strike, the Desolator, all available. Poor Roshan. Can't really defend himself. 
against three heroes like this. Dooku with that flesh golem as well to amplify that damage. But they are smoking in. They actually left Armel there. He gets backed as well. The call comes in. The Chrono, he will save the day. Gabby will grab that. And the Chain Frost as well. But they dunk him immediately. Oli about to fall. They will at the very least get the Ayo. Can they really go after any more? The Winter's Curse is there on the Axe. Now, Dooku, it will be the target. Looks like he will end up falling. Though Emo, he's trying to find more. Gets Tim's. Gabby thinking about going back in, although he thinks better of it. A triple kill going to Emo. Have they found more? Yes, they have. Ninja Boogie gets caught out. John, they left Armel alone, and he gets bashed like three times in a row. Yeah, that was unfortunate. They do get pretty much a full team wipe. Yeah, Roche, smoke up, try to catch him off guard, force the Void to drop a Chronosphere in a pretty unideal spot. Um, you know, just catching a few heroes uh, spread out nicely. And I think you can definitely still steer this the way in, into your way as IG. They'll go after, they'll get Oli. Now the chain cross as well, the Eagles will be there to save. Immediately Kukuku jumps in. He just got a Bloodstone on this left rank. He doesn't want to die right now. Though Gabby oh. sees it, he says, excuse me, I'll take those so for this charges. And he will down to nine Bloodstone and charges now. One of those things about the left rank, John, they go for this build every time. We need to worry about it. Now they'll go for a smoke. Chrono is up on Gabby. Didn't use it that last team fight because it was on cooldown. Now, if they find the gyro, oh, that would be very nice for them. They just made Fuku getting ready for the setup, and they oh. stop him with that Chrono. Nobody's there to help out, and Doodle gets melted. So does Dog Bites. And with that scan, they want even more. They sp they scout up the axe at the very least. Ninja Boogie should have seen him. They grab the Chrono. Or excuse me. They grab the bounty runes. In fact. TNT, they'll grab every single bounty rune off the map. Lockdown you could ask for. Nothing blocks it out except positioning. So it, it's always going to be strong and relevant, I guess. As you go into the late game, the void will be your biggest concern. Fair points. Roshan up in one minute. Shadowblade is up. In fact, mid lane, they'll get started. There is a call onto the Wyman. He has the curse available. Now the Chrono, it will come out onto two, though. They didn't catch the IO out, but it doesn't matter because the IO just goes into it himself. The so fight, what have you done? He'll go down as well. Gabby on a triple. In fact, they wipe out the whole team apart from the Leshrac. And but that does really open up the Roshan for TNC. Whenever it's coming back up, it looks like it will, it is up. So that next Rosh should be easier to take. Mid lane, Kuku runs to the left track by himself. He does get four stuffed out, but he's in massive trouble. Now Chain Frost comes out. Doodle, he will commit that BKB charge. That'll be in. In fact, no, it won't. Armel, he'll find Ollie on the sideline. Now with the trap as well, Doodle he can get slowed down quite heavily. Armel doesn't even bother popping the trap. Then the axe will TP in. But, you know, that Roche is dropping so fast, I don't think there's even an opportunity to push that tier 2 down. Yeah, they're not even going to get the trade. They're going to try and come in and try to defend this Roche up, it's already so low, and they don't make that same mistake with leaving Armor alone. And with that, they see Emo, they slow him down with those traps. Another one coming out as well. They jump in, Gabby, he's looking for the back lines. He has the Chrono, he sees Doodle. Doesn't throw out the Chrono yet, though. Now he will. Dogfight's going to try and help him out, it seems, but can he really? It looks like he'll just heal him up for the moment. Now the BKB, the ball comes out as well. This could be bad. Gabby ends up falling. The Chain Frost doing no damage of the Winter's Curse. Dog fights will end up eventually falling anyway and Armel will find Ollie in the back. Now the axe being chased down. Some miscoordination coming out from TNC though. So this axe has no... Well, he does have a bit of travel, but he doesn't bother trying. He will get the call off. They're going to try and turn this one around. Everyone buys back on the side of IG. Looks like they will get Tim's in the end. Can they find more? They'll find Cuckoo as well. Looks like Axe will take both those kills. Um, although we'll manage to back out safely next. Like he's going to become quite hard to kill in a, in a sense, right? With that butterfly. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to kill. You definitely want to take that IO out to really make it slightly easier to kill. Um, oh, wait, we were talking about him. I was thinking about Jaro. He looks like we have a fight. Oh, oh, they'll catch him out with the Chrono, and Gabby immediately goes after Dog Bite. Then goes up the gyro, he will BKB up, but that time off goes through the BKB. Oh, nice call comes in though, but Gabby, he eats the cheese and backs off. The train cross as well coming in. They've got no buybacks, John. And this could be over. They could go for T4s right now. 
yeah, the, it looks like IG's not going to call it just yet, but uh, at the very least, they're going to lose one set of racks, and looks like that is all TNC can get, because the, the rest of the side lanes still do have towers. They will take at least one set of racks here. That's what I'm saying, though. Maybe they just go for T4s after the T3. It looks like yeah, they are, John. They're getting ready for it. It looks like, it. yeah. They are pushing forward. Yeah, there you go. Just gonna force those tier fours. Axe is forced to buy back. 60 seconds until, you know, Letrax is back up. 30 seconds until Gyro is. Even then, I mean, you know, at the very least, the Chronosphere is not gonna be there. But the damage output from RML right now is insane. But Axe doesn't know how to jump in right now. Like, he's waiting for the Gyro, it seems. 20 seconds left with respawn. He will jump up to Cuckoo. That is the target they probably want him to aim for, though, and he is just gonna get shredded. They were all spread out. There was just no way for him to get a five, four or five man call off. And now Ancient going down with that Desolator makes it very easy. And that's it. They call GG well played. They understand they can't defend any further. John, TNC, I mean, it wasn't as, it wasn't as convincing as we would have thought, but again, they are kind of playing a bit of a trolley draft. And in the end, they get the team wipe after the buybacks, they finish off the Ancient. 